Welcome from Graphic Extras. One of the features of Photoshop CC that I really like, 32 bits uh, per channel. I uh, particularly like it with uh, gradients. And I'm just gonna quickly go over it. And I've actually, so image, RGB, 32 bit channel. And basically it's just lovely smooth gradients that you can uh, apply over and over again, just using the standard, just difference and darken and all those sort of things. But with the latest release of Photoshop, September 2013 version, and that's now 14.1, it's the version number. There's filter. Well, they've added a selection, quite a few filters, now for 32 bit. So things like color halftone, etc., crystallize, etc., as well as distort. One of my favorites, displace, that's now become a 32 bit uh, filter, which is really good. Uh, one that isn't actually is uh, that one. For some weird reason, it actually comes up. It's not actually va available in 32 bit. But uh, there are a few other ones. And just a selection of twirl. And the good thing about the 32 bit option is that the color is now so much smoother. So effects that look quite clunky, to be honest, really quite clunky at times actually look pretty impressive now and certainly things like the polar coordinates looks just great as well as shear wave they all look really really nice now far smoother effects than ever before so whoever actually uh, updated these uh, filters brilliant because they're really great additions and i really can't wait to uh, see the uh, all the other filters to actually become 32 bit per channel as well because things like oil paint would be great if that can come so click OK at that point and just really so much nicer now to work with them of course once you've done that you can actually apply another difference and so on and so on but uh, you just go to filter as like I say distort displace is one that's very unusual I'm really quite surprised they would have actually added one but actually what would have been nice actually when they updated it to 32 bit would have actually been to increase the uh, the dialogue size as well as maybe add some of the more modern features for dialogues. Uh, this one has stuck the same for ages and ages and ages. So, uh, but it's uh, still pretty nice. And again, it comes up with the standard old uh, dialogue for asking for a displacement file. But uh, it'd be nice if obviously it was more interactive. Other filter ones, shear, ripple, Polar coordinates. Now, polar coordinates is quite a nice one as well. That's actually improved quite considerably. Really, really nice, smooth polar to rectangle. And just obviously apply it again and again. No, just 32 bit, brilliant. And of course, once you've actually finished with uh, working with the 32 bit channel and you want to go and like, print it off or do something else with it, of course, you have to go back. And it comes up with the good old uh, HDR toning, and that uh, gives many. And actually quite nice colour options and I think I'll just go with that. So that's just a great addition in the latest version of Photoshop. It's the September. Of course there's a number of other options and uh, things. There's a lovely new feature called Generator uh, which is going to need quite a bit exploring. I'm certain already there's loads of tutorials already available for that and there's other additions and features. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, quick guide to 32-bit per channel editions in the September version of Photoshop of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Thank you much.